largest president in American history and often got stuck in the White House bathtub. His advisors had to sometimes pull him out. 68. Harding was obsessed with poker and once bet an entire set of priceless White House china and lost it. 69. During his second run for presidency, Teddy Roosevelt was shot by a would-be assassin while giving a speech in Milwaukee. He continued to deliver his speech with the bullet in his chest. 70. Thomas Jefferson was convinced that if he soaked his feet in a bucket of cold water every day, he'd never get a cold. 71. Calvin Coolidge liked to have his head rubbed with petroleum jelly while eating his breakfast in bed. 72. Woodrow Wilson, born Thomas Woodrow Wilson, would paint his golf balls black during the winter so he could continue playing in the snow. 73. On his epitaph, which he composed, Jefferson mentions that he was the author of the Declaration of Independence and the Statuette for Virginia for Religious Freedom, and that he was the father of the University of Virginia. He neglected to mention that he had been the President of the United States. 74. Teddy Roosevelt's last request before dying was, Please put out the light. Thomas Jefferson's last words were, This is the fourth. John Adams' dying words were, Thomas Jefferson still survives. <laughs> Un <clears throat> unaware that Jefferson had passed away a few hours earlier. <clears throat> 75. George Washington didn't have enough money to get to his own inauguration, so he had to borrow $600 from his neighbor. 76. Washington, Jackson, Van Buren, Taylor, Fillmore, Lincoln, Andrew Johnson, Cleveland, and Truman did not attend college. Harry Truman is the only 20th century president without a college degree. 77. The capital of Liberia is called Monrovia after President James Monroe. 78. In 1978, President Jimmy Carter, the first Southerner elected to presidency following the Civil War, restored U.S. citizenship to Jefferson Davis, President of the Confederate States of America. 79. Samuel Mudd, the doctor who treated the broken ankle of Lincoln assassin John Wilkes Booth, and whose name led to the saying, Your name is Mud, received a presidential pardon in 1869 from Ulysses S. Grant. 80. No president has ever been an only child. 81. At his first inauguration, George Washington added the So Help Me God to the end of the oath of office. 82. John Adams' campaign propaganda against Jefferson said that if Jefferson was elected, <clears throat> murder, robbery, rape, adultery, and incest will be openly taught and practiced. They later resolved their differences and wrote many letters to each other. 83. It was so cold at Ulysses S. Grant's presidential inauguration that the canneries that were supposed to uh, canneries, my bad, the canaries that were supposed to sing at the inaugural ball froze to death. That's so sad. Anyway, eighty four. Every so often, Calvin Coolidge would press all, all the buttons on the president's desk and hide and watch his staff run in. He would then pop out from behind the door and say that he was just seeing if everyone was working. <laughs> 85. <clears throat> the first president to be born outside the original 13 states was Lincoln. 86. 
1946. Jimmy Carter is the only president to have been commander of both a nuclear submarine and a peanut farm. 87. William McKinley, <coughs> Grover Cleveland, and James Madison are on the 500 1000 and $5,000 bill, respectively. The bills are still used as legal tender, but are no longer being printed. <coughs> 88. Abraham Lincoln is the only president to receive a patent, number 6469. He was the first president to have a beard. Was he really? And at the request from a little girl named Gracie Bedell, the first child to die in the White House was Abraham Lincoln's 12-year-old son, Willie. Child, but not presidential kid, because that would be... What was that? Um, Adams? I don't I think it was... Crap, I forget. There was another one. Washington's original ancestral name was De Wessington, from a certain William de Hartburn, a 12th century noble knight of the manor and village of Wessington, who later changed his name to De Wessington, which is the Norman spelling of Washington. That's new. 94. Woodrow Wilson was the first to show a motion picture in the White House. The Birth of a of Nation, which has become the most banned film in American history. 95. Warren Harding was the first president to own a radio, the first to make a speech over the radio, and the first to ride his inauguration to his inauguration in a car. When women got the right to vote, he was the first president they could elect. 96. JFK was the first Roman Catholic to be president, the first Boy Scout to become president, and the first president to be born in the 20th century. 97. Gerald Ford was the first person to be both vice president and president without being elected by the people. He was appointed vice president when Spiro Agnew resigned and he succeeded to the president when Nixon resigned. 98. Rutherford Hayes banished alcohol from the White House and held gospel sing-alongs every night in the White House. 99. Andrew Johnson was the first president to be impeached. He was acquitted by one vote in the Senate. 